The Nairobi Center for International Arbitration, NCIA, was established in 2013 through an Act of Parliament as a center for promotion of international commercial arbitration and other alternative forms of dispute resolution. Ladies and gentlemen, I will share a few thoughts as I reflect on the horizon and dispute resolution for the future. Increasingly, the world is looking to Pacific settlement of conflicts, ranging from political, economic to high state boundary disputes. The center is an independent institution governed by a board of directors. It offers a neutral venue for the administration of international as well as domestic arbitration and other forms of alternative dispute mechanisms. There has been a rapid growth in Sino-Africa trade and investment. That is part of the reason why KJEC as a project was called into existence. Kajiak is a project which is intended to bring uh, Africa and China together in terms of dispute resolution uh, to address uh, those aspects of dispute resolution which are particular to both uh, China and Africa so that those people who are trading between the two countries and the two continents if you, are, if you like uh, have a form of dispute resolution which they are more familiar with, more relaxed about, which they find to be reliable and dependable and therefore can be resolving their disputes as they are uh, undertaking a trade across uh, the two China and Africa. Timely administration of justice has been a persistent challenge in Kenya, just as is in the case for other African countries. This is attributed to the over-reliance of the courts in the resolutions of all forms of disputes, even where the other forms of dispute resolutions would be appropriate. Therefore, Courts are overwhelmed by caseloads and parties have to wait for long periods of time before getting services and hence delaying the due process of justice administration. This poses a risk of substantial compromise of justice due to the technical structure of court system with a subsequent result of outcomes that may not satisfy the interest of the parties concerned. When we have the privilege and honor of introducing court and next mediation, Initially on a pilot basis in Kenya, we went through phases. There was an element of resistance. Then there was a season of doubt. And I'm delighted to report that there is now acceptance. Access to justice is a fundamental human right as it forms the basis for the enjoyment of other rights. However, a majority of low-income citizens are faced with various constraints such as high filing fees, bureaucracy, complex procedures, illiteracy, distance from the courts, and the legal know-how in access to timely justice. While there are lawyers who use um, court procedures to frustrate the process, there are others who use it for the opposite, which is what you've described, looking at the most expeditious way to um, assist the tribunal. It is against this backdrop that Kenya embarked on a legal reforms to integrate alternative forms of dispute resolution in the administration of justice to curb unnecessary delays. ADR mechanisms can be flexible, and I say can be because we've seen they can be the opposite. They also can be cost-effective. We've seen um, arbitrations that are very, very expensive. They can also be expeditious. You can agree, because of the principle of party autonomy, that we are going to start an arbitration today and finish today. The arbiter of the future, the witness of the future, the documents of the future different from what we are used to today. The promulgation of the 2010 Constitution of Kenya was a key reform in the administration of justice in Kenya. The Constitution allows courts and tribunals to be enjoyed in the exercising judicial authority by applying alternative forms of dispute resolution. So when I sit um, and I want to protect my customer, I find that I prefer to go back to court because arbitration costs are actually higher if I'm actually being fair to my customer. So I will rarely advise them to go to arbitration, much as I feel that that is the better way to go. Uh, the point is that not every dispute needs to be had in the sense of being had. And I would suggest to you that maybe when you're sitting in the bank offering 
suggest solutions to your clients or your customers, you might want to think innovatively about ways to save costs and time because I think there's consensus that the court process will not save you time but the alternative mechanism may save you time if you think through it creatively and it's really about thinking about it creatively and, um, and approaching the right lawyers. Some other ADR mechanisms commonly used include arbitration, which is a non-judicial process for the settlement of disputes where an independent third party, an arbitrator, makes a decision that is binding called an award. An arbitration award can be filed in court for enforcement. Mediation. Mediation is the process by which a neutral third party, called a mediator, helps two parties in conflict negotiate a mutual acceptable agreement. The parties to the mediation control the outcome. Negotiations. This aims at harmonizing the interest of the concerned parties amicably. The aggrieved parties themselves explore different options for dispute resolutions without involving a third party. Adjudication. An impartial third party, adjudicator, makes a fair, rapid and inexpensive decision on a given dispute arising from a construction project. Conciliation. In Kenya, it is described as a mechanism used to test the possibility of two disputing parties making up and assuming prior cordial relationship. The third party, a conciliator separately discusses the dispute with each party, then prepares a solution based on what he considers to be just an optimal compromise. This uh, conference is such good because it's a good opportunity for the in-house, the lawyer and the arbitrator and the arbitration institutes to take together. We have a lot to learn from Kenya and I think uh, it's a good thing that we can learn from each other in Africa and strengthen ourselves. Um, my hope is that at some day um, you will have top-notch arbitrators from Kenya, from Tanzania, from Uganda, so that these international arbitration disputes can truly be uh, adjudicated within Africa. But to get there, we have to, to create the talent. You can't just say this dispute should be resolved, should be managed, the arbitrators should be African. If you don't grow the talent, if you're not competitive internationally, because that's where we should start. And, and I have a lot of hope here in Kenya. The competent staff at the center is at hand to offer any administrative support and advice on request. We are located at Cooperative Bank House of Haile Selassie Avenue on the 8th floor.